Iga Swiatek versus Arena Sabalenka. It's the first semi-final for the ladies Cincinnati Open for 2024. And both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number three seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she's taking on Cochiaretto. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-4. In the third round, she's taking on Svetolina, who she played a crazy match against in Rome earlier in the season. This was much easier for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 7-5, 6-2. In the quarterfinals, she's taking on Samson Over, the number 10 seed. We've done really well in the US Open and the US Open Series last year. There's no problem again for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-2 to advance to the semifinals. Shvianzek entered the tournament as the number one seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Gracheva, the qualifier. And after dropping the second set, we'll take it out in three. 6-love, six, 6-7, six, six, 2 In the third round, she take on the 15 seed, Kostyuk. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, six, 6-2. Two, six, two. In the quarterfinals, she take on Andreva, who had just taken out Navarro, Paulini, and Pliskova along the way. And this was a battle. After dropping the first set, Sviantec would fight back to win 4 6 6 3 7 5 to advance to the semi finals. These two have played 11 times before, with Sviantec leading 8 3 in their head to head, including, of course, those two matches they played on the clay in the finals of both Madrid and Rome. But that Madrid match, very, very close. Rome was much easier for Sviantec, but Sabalenka really had a chance there to win in that Madrid match with championship points. So the faster courts you would think would give Sabalenka a little bit more confidence, a little bit more of an edge when it comes to playing Sviantec. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she needs to serve big and be aggressive. Really bully Sviantec around the court because this court service is one of the fastest of the year and she is one of the biggest hitters of the year. So she needs to use that to her advantage and really frustrates Sviantec, who was frustrated a little bit against Andreva, who also hit the ball pretty hard and served very well as well in that match. If Sviantec's going to win this one, she can't get off to a slow start like she did against Andreva because Andreva did get nervous towards the end, especially at 5-all in the third set. There was nerves there. Sabalenka doesn't get nervous like that, or at least she she shouldn't get nervous like that. Sviantec's got to get off to a better start than she did in her last match and really be aggressive as well. Push Sabalenka around if she can. Love this matchup. This might be my favorite matchup on the WTA. It's one versus three. Usually it's one versus two, but I have to go with Sabalenka in this one. I'm going to go with Sabalenka because of the court speed in three sets. I reckon Sviantec might just get bullied a little too much. And I think that Sabalenka will get the win and finally break that streak that Sviantec's on against Sabalenka at the moment. But let me know down the course below who's making the final.